Hi guys, I'm in the kitchen doorway for a reason. <clears throat> because I had a very big box arrive this morning. In fact, that's probably where Nemo is sleeping right now. Should we go and have a look? <clears throat> and I'm going to demonstrate these. My box from Response Vehicle Lighting arrived. So I've got these two on the bed. I will demonstrate to you in a minute. I was right. I wasn't actually expecting a box that big. Or extra items quite that big. I know, or I knew he was going to put extra things in the box, but I didn't think they were going to be big things like that. So that was a pleasant surprise. Anyway, it's from Response Vehicle Lighting, which is a company that not only just provides various vehicle lighting like this but mostly modern stuff this is actually quite old actually I say that I don't know if you... I'm guessing it's got a bit of age to it anyway but uh, that one's got a problem with it as well that I can't quite fix because I don't have the bit I need to find something <laughs> anyway <coughs> He, well, they do all sorts of, they do lots of various amber flashing lights, work lights, accessory kits, um, reverse camera kits. Their website is worth having a look at, um, and I'll put a link in the description below. For now, I'm going to stick you on the tripod. We will have a look through one of the catalogues as well. He sent three. Obviously, it's not going to show all what's in, what's available. I have uh, been on his website and uh, had a look, and there's a lot. Now, this one didn't come with screws in the lid either, so it just. But uh, I don't know if you can see from there. Let's try zooming in a bit. Can you see? Yeah, you can see on that motor there, you can see the black worm gear right here. The one on the other side here hasn't got it. It's, uh, it's done a vanishing trick. It's had enough and gone on holiday somewhere probably. So if I can find something, you know, a similar sort of gear, maybe not the exact one, but a similar sort of thing, I could get that one working. But, um, I did have all this video made, but uh, I didn't like it. It was totally crap, so I just decided to start again, because I did do sort of like an un unboxing, but like I said, it just went eh. So, what I plan to do is demonstrate the three light bars, keeping in mind this one, only one will rotate. Oh, and to run it I've got this PC power supply here. And it's very technical, I'm just going to get the live wire and just go... That's quite a noisy one. Um, I can't reach the light switch. <laughs> Cause I was, that's the other reason I decided to do it again, because I thought, you know, I could sit here and uh, switch the light off. Holy! If anyone's walking past the flat, they're going to look, think, what the hell? <laughs> I've sort of got a spotlight. <laughs> Blue spotlight. I've noticed on some modern light bars they do have static blue lights. So yeah, it's it's working. So switch that off. I've lost my. I've got a little Phillips screwdriver that I was using for this connector block. Ah, it's on the floor. That's why I can't find it. It's just easier for these cheaps. I've got... I made the mistake 
well, I think it was a mistake, of buying packs of these um, these type of connectors, three different sizes on my local market for a pound a pack. They work, they do the job, but I actually found that most of them had the screws bloody, um, well, not missing, they'd fallen out. So I had to sit there and stick them all back in. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to just pause you while I uh, bring in the next lamp. I forgot to say, the previous light bar was made by Whelan. Whelan? Whelan? Someone I used to watch on YouTube um, used to pronounce it as Whelan. So I've always pronounced it as Whelan. <laughs> This one is a vision alert. Oh, and the other one had mag magnets on the bottom as well. Uh, should have had four of these, but it only had two. Well, it had three, but one was missing. Um, so just to make it easier to store it and easier to stand it on display, I took the magnets off. I suppose if you really wanted to, you could um, you could have um, took the magnets off and bolted it straight to the vehicle's roof. Just the bolt holes went straight through the base. So, All right. This one I had to do a little bit of um, repair work on it as well. Um, you can see the two huge magnets under there. Uh, I think that said somewhere that was speed. Well, am I think they might be thinking of something else? I thought that one said that was um, top speed 70. A lot of them are, especially for the emergency services. Right, this even came with a big long lead on this one. But uh, it's this one. The left one because it's got the two rotatory lamps in here. Um, the left one was sort of uh, flapping around in there. I don't know why it was taken off, but there was no screws. It doesn't matter because I've got... This is why when I take things apart, I often keep the screws. So I've got a big... or well, this pot of assorted screws here. All different shapes and sizes, so finding screws to replace them wasn't a problem. Um, what was a problem was getting that lamp back together because it should have had a bearing race like that that the bearings sat in and it should have clipped all together basically and held it in place but as you can see that bit is there um, it is held in place I um, kind of cheated and just pushed the ball bearings in on their own and uh, it's worked but uh, it is noisy. Uh, that did actually sound like one of the lamps was hitting the plastic, but... No, I don't think it is. I think it is just a bit of a noise because of the bearings. Alright, so... Are we ready? No, I guess we are not. Don't tell me this one just overloaded the power supply and shut it off. Oh dear. My power supply is uh, currently not working. <laughs> Stand by, we have technical difficulties. It was working a minute ago, and now it doesn't want to work. Why does it not want to work? What have I done? It's not even doing anything. Oh dear.
can't imagine I've popped it. This is good, isn't it? Live on camera. We have a glitch. <laughs> we just love technical issues, especially when you're trying to do something. Now, if I was a professional, I'd edit all this out, but I'm not a professional. I'll do all this because I like to do it. And besides, what's the fun in editing out all the boo-boos and things? Just leave me. Leave me and go with the flow. And uh, I did see a comment left on one of my videos today that apparently I've got the funniest farts ever. <laughs> Now it's working. Did I pop a fuse in the plug? Shouldn't have done. Right. Take, take two. I don't know what I'll do. I'll connect. Ah, what if that's what I did wrong? I connected the live first and not the ground. Perhaps I should have connected the ground and then pushed the live in. Like I've been doing. Or it did just overload and I had to leave the power pack off a few, like 30 seconds or so for it to click back in. Because a lot of power supplies like this do have an over voltage or an overload protection on it, so. Right. That created some big sparks. But yeah, there we go. That's this one. There's my screwdriver, so I'm going to hit the light. Ooh. Quite bright, that one. I love the effect the mirrors in the middle give. Because it sort of makes it look like it's got uh, three lights in there, not two. Actually, the one that's clunking is the one that I didn't fix. <laughs> yeah, it's working. I had to grease all that up as well. This one seems to draw a bit of current because these wires get warm and that's only on this one. Disconnect this one, and I can go and get my big boy, my favourite. Oh yeah, this cable is getting warm. Hmm, there might still be a minor issue with that one, but it works for demonstration purposes anyway. Right, I'll be back in a moment. And last but not least, the big boy. Well. There is a lot bigger than this one, but this is the big one compared to what I've got. So I'm just uh, wiring up everything. Because this has actually got two features instead of just blue flashy lights. I don't know which way round I've actually got it. Just to help spread the load, I did connect it to two separate lives on this. What do you want, Nemo? I can see you down by the door. I don't know who's buggered off now, I said that. I was like, oh, well, then I'll bugger off. Then you come and say hello, you talk to me like that, you busted. Yeah, I thought so, I've got that round here. Um, the rear facing us, that's why it's red. But uh, yeah, that's the centre bit. I was surprised, I thought there was going to be at least two light bulbs in there to light it up, and there's only one, one 21 watt bulb. 
So you've got that. And that's the blue lights. Let's hit the lights. This is definitely the quietest out of the ones I've got. Now we're all lit up. I've got no idea how old this. This is another vision alert light bar. It's got the mirrors in the ends here as well. So look. So it looks like you've got uh, two lights either end. Here's a, that's a nice light bar. Wiring is staying nice and cold. You see, big light bar like this and the wiring stays cold. Got a nice night light there. <laughs> guys notice that? Watch, I don't know if it's noticeable on camera, but as soon as I turn that centre light on, the two beacons slow down a bit. And watch that when I turn the beacons off. It does, yeah it does, it dims out. I don't know if it's going to show up so well on camera, but that does dim out. That'll be my power supply, that's all that is. No big issue. I've lost my pokey stick. Here it is. <laughs> Ooh, I'm trying to reach without hitting the camera. But yeah, that is actually one of my. I don't know what type of fire vehicle that would be put on. Probably a van or perhaps a little 4 by 4 or even a fire chief car. Although they don't use it the term fire chief anymore do they it's pretty I could put a shelf up somewhere and rig up a permanent power supply because that would make a nice novelty light on the shelf wouldn't it took me ages to figure out that this whole thing comes off as one cover which is a bit annoying if you've got to change the bulbs, but that don't matter. Right. Now there's two more items from response vehicle lighting. If you come with me, let me turn that one off for a minute. Uh, I better turn this light on first. But really cool now. We have had rain as well. I've got, sitting in three pieces over here, a brand spanking new LED beacon. Um, between me and the uh, guy at Response Vehicle Lighting, we're trying to, trying to figure out where the wires have got to go on this circuit board. You know, the live and neutral. I thought these two little pads down here. But maybe not. <laughs> so uh, it'd be great to get that going. It's just a push and twist lid. You know that a pretty robust, tough feeling plastic. I can't remember. Is it poly polycarbonate or something like that? I'm sure it said it on the plastic somewhere. Yeah, brand spanking new. I haven't put the circuit board in there because I'd have to take it out again to uh, stick the wire on it. But I'm looking forward to getting that one running as well. And the other thing, which I said we were going to look through to give or, is one of these. I've got three of these. I actually have to say, one of them I looked through earlier. <laughs> Not sure 
quite sure what happened, but uh, it started to fall to bits. <laughs> right, I'm just going to stick you up here for a minute. Oh, Cat's Trikes visited as well. She's uh, liberated me of a bunch of bike parts. She wants some parts for her granddad bike I gave her and uh, just gave her a bunch of other bits. I think my trailer's got like four or five wheels left in it now. Anywho... Yeah, I think this... Yeah. I don't know who printed the catalogues, but um, they tend to fall a bit. The glue doesn't seem to be very good. Anyway, that side, let's have a look. You know, this is only a selection of what's on the website. So he's got a selection of um, LED beacons. I'm not sure if that's the exact one he sent me or a, slight, or a similar model. Uh, there's rotating beacons, magnetic, single bolt. I think they're DIN. Are they both DIN? I think they're both DIN. And that'll be a three bolt one. It's a nice looking reflector as well. RMB, LMB. Yeah, mine. I think mine's a di slightly different model. LRB, LED compact beacons. Low profile LED beacons. Like I said, it's not just beacons in here and whatnot. I know. Uh, I've got a funny feeling my other catalogue I looked through fell to bits because of me. <laughs> Micro LED beacons. Airport beacons. I'm not sure what the difference would be there. But they look like any other... Unless it's the way they flash. We've got um, plant and industrial and specialised. A selection of. And we get into the light bars. A compact rotating mini light bar. An LED mini light bar. I actually like that they've got the switch. On off switch on the and it's actually got two switches from the look of it. I'm guessing one is an on off and one selects flash pattern. Speed rate to 70 miles an hour, three meters of coiled cable. And cigarette plug. Single bolt mount versions include 300 millimeter cable. What have we got here? 1272 LED mini light bar. I don't know what these different numbers are. LED is still something I'm still learning. All I know is these days they can make them freaking bright. That's a nice micro LED light bar. Some more Optilux Slimline. Slimline is very popular with the emergency services, I've noticed. You see that, but <laughs> it's coming unstuck on this one as well. Oh well. Uh, got three different sizes. This one comes in. Ooh. Optional stop tail and indicator lights. That would be handy, especially on like um, a recovery vehicle. That's a big one. That's a very big one. That goes up to 17, 1770 millimeters. I will get it out. Oh, it comes with all that. Oh, it doesn't tell you what 
colours it comes in. Some of these um, tables down here tell you what colour options it comes with. Well, I thought it did, unless I'm thinking of something else. Oh, it's a different light like bars. And you got your LED modules that you'd put on your your wings or just down the side of your vehicle if you wanted. Even on the grill. It's a nice idea, the corner ones. Oh yes, yeah, some of them I presume the ones that don't have the colour option bit don't or only come in the one colour. Flatline LED modules. Ultra flatline. Cool. Okay. I can see why that's called ultra flatline. Look at that. That'd definitely keep your vehicle a bit more slimline, wouldn't it? An aerodynamic. What do we got here? Hideaways. Alternating flashing units, you can stick that on your headlights and it'll alternate. I don't think that is actually legal on a civilian car, I'm pretty certain it's not. Of course, I can't tell my viewers what to do, but on your own head be it, I will say, if you choose to do that. LED dash lights, enforcer LED. Dash light, directional warning bars and flashing units. What have we got here? Dual colour universal LED module. That'd be quite handy. Dual colour hideaway kits. Dual colour LED bar. Telescopic motorcycle LED beacon. Illuminated red rocker switch for a motorcycle siren speakers and siren units a howler alert and a commander I would actually love one of these just to piss my neighbours off <laughs> and they do a load of various sort of tail lights and whatnot interior lamps as well Marker lights, more tail lights, that's probably for a trailer as it's got the red triangle built in. Yeah, and other marker lights. Work lights as well. I actually have to say I've looked on his website and uh, the prices are pretty good in my opinion. Got spotlight bars. There's the reversing camera kit and alarms. Reversing safety alarm. Like I said, this is just a taster of what's on his website. Got all these little accessories here, inline fuses. There's like fuse box, fuses, connectors, cable. Yeah, they are blade fuse holders. Switch boxes as well. Various mini switches and whatnot. Ah, DIN mounts. Obviously, if you haven't got a vehicle with a DIN mount and you haven't got a DIN mounted light, you're going to need it. 24 volt and 12 volt converters, personal warning lights and torches. And that's it. And just a bit for notes in the back here. Definitely worth a look if you uh, are looking for... Oh, my arm's gone funny. I've held it too long in that position. Yeah, definitely worth a look. Right. Really, is it getting that late already? It's nearly 11 o'clock. Alright. Did I take my diabetic pill this evening? Yes, I did. 
there's two missing out of the pack and I started it this morning so Would you want them nems? <laughs> oh, I converted the dynamo lights on Catch Trike's Stingray to um, battery. It only took me about 20 minutes to do. Relatively easy job, it's just running from one of them 6 volt batteries, or she can put in. I gave her one of them adapters that take the 4D as well so she could use that if she wanted rechargeable batteries right that's it for this video so Big thanks to Response Vehicle Lighting. Whenever I think of that, I've got to think of the company name for some reason. I've just looked at the bloody um, catalog. Anyway, big thanks to them. Um, hopefully tomorrow he can help me out with the wiring of that LED beacon. And uh, thanks for watching, and I will talk to you all again very soon. Bye-bye.